In this video, we're going to look at a couple of exponential problems. First off, we want to find the annual percent growth rate of a quantity that doubles every five years. So, what's happening is, you know, I'm going to show you how you can go about this. Um, in general, an exponential function has the form AB to the T. Well, we want to find out how long it takes to double. So, we want to find out how long it takes for A to turn into 2A with a base of B, and we know how long it's going to take. It's going to take five years. Well, we can divide both sides by A and cancel the A's out. So we have 2 equals B to the fifth. Now, you don't need logs here because we do know the exponent. Logs are most useful when we don't know the exponent. So we're going to raise both sides to the one-fifth, and that gives us our base of 2 to the one-fifth. Now, notice doubles every five years. That's not a coincidence. So actually you now have a shortcut on how to put together your base. Now to get your annual rate, this is your growth factor. And so to get a growth rate from a growth factor, it's always your growth factor. So two to the one fifth minus one. And then we'll turn it into a percent by multiplying by a hundred always the case. That's why it's so important to identify your growth growth factor. So putting this into the calculator, be sure to put that one-fifth in parentheses. Then we're going to subtract off the one and multiply by a hundred to turn it into a percent. 14.87 percent or 14.9 percent. So identify your growth factor and then you can just go from there. Now we're going to use what we just learned in this half-life problem. The half-life of, of carbon-14 is about 5,728 years. A fossil is found with 10% of its initial uh, remaining. How old is it? Well, remember, it has a half-life of 5,728, so its base is one-half to the 1 over 5,728. We're applying the same principle we did right here. Doubles every five years. Gets cut in half every 5,728 years. Now, let's start to build a model for this guy. Well, this is our base, B, to the T. And here's our initial. And we want to know when 10%, so 0.1, of the initial is remaining. So it's very similar to the problem we just worked. First thing we'll do is divide out A on both sides. And now we have something we can solve using logs. We do need logs because T is up in the exponent. So you can rewrite it with logs or, I always, or we can take log of both sides. So what I have is log of 0.1 equals log of 1 half to the 1 over 5,728 to the t. Now the reason we took a log is because property of logs allows me to pull that t out front. So I have log of 0.1 equals t times log of 1 half to the 1 over 5,728. We also could pull this exponent out front, so let's go ahead and do that. We have log of 0.1 equals, I'm just going to write it, we're going to multiply them together, so we'll have t over 5,728 times log of 1 half. Here's the equation we need to solve for t. Because of the logo, I'm going to move over here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 5,728. Because that'll cancel out over here. So let's see what we have left. I have 5,728 log of 0.1 equals log of, or sorry, t times log of 1 half. So I'm going to write it at the end, 1 half times t. So finally, we're going to divide both sides by log of 1 half to get what t is. And all these numbers have a specific meaning. Our half-life was 5,728. We wanted to know when 10% was left. It was a half-life, so this should, be lo this should be one half here. So, I know it's a bit of a mess, 
But our final answer is going to be 5,728 times log of 0.1 divided by log of 0.5 or 1 half. And our answer is 19,028 years. So we can actually do this. There's plenty of information in this problem, even though initially it doesn't seem like it.